So let's try something out. Um, I like to film when I am trying something out. So, and if it doesn't work, I cut it. So the meaning is making a cabinet. And so let's see what I think of. The meaning is that uh, left and white is going to be an album in and underneath there are going to be two drawers so yes I have let's begin let's begin together and I use wash um, I use duct tape to put it all together you can use paper as you see in my wedding box tutorial but for this time I am going to use duct tape but perhaps in the video along I come back to the paper but I really try it out. So I cut my um, I cut my uh, my chipboard, and my chipboard is free. So it's it comes from fabric. Uh, some relative of my works, but so that is that I am using it double. Of course, yours is already thick enough, but I really don't know how thick this is, but I like it really sturdy, so I am gluing the pieces together. So I will do that first, and this piece is 20 by 17 centimeters, and in inches I will write it down for you it's six one, two, three, four, five of an eight six five of an eight by by seven seven of an eight seven seven of an eight inch mile three so that's the first step and this is really a go along video so I did not prepare anything I have it in my head and I watched a few uh, Pinterest pictures um, on people that have made earlier such a cabinet but I could not find a tutorial of it, so I make one my own. Now these two parts, they are, just a minute, and I put all the measurements below in the description of course, of course, it will be my first time, five, one, two, three, four, Five and a half by by six five of an eight six five of an eight inch mile double and in Dutch it's fourteen by seventeen centimeters and the last piece this one is the, going to be on the back and this one is 14 by 20 centimeters and for the inches they is five and a half by I guess seven seven of an eight yes seven seven of an eight Yes, so that are the measurements, so now I put it all together. Let's see, I think I am first, this is the bottom and I already um, draw a line, so this is the middle because this is going to be in the middle, so we have two separate parts. 
Um, I guess it's easy that I put first the back and the top of it. So it's attached already. So yeah, let's do that. And Let's see how I can fix that easy, easy peasy, just about the same as I do it with my albums. I just lay it on top. And then the back, just a little off, so it can easily be fold like this, yes. And now this, let me think what I do with it, so I fold it in, or I think I cut it down. tape is really good attached to the chipboard. And now we can do another part, that's the um, Again. and grab the other piece can use your scissors if you like, but I like to use this. And around. And I don't know if I am on grammar, but it's a very long piece. But okay, let's turn it around and again make sure that the tape is good attaching the chipboard because we don't want to get it loose like that so the first step is already the making like this this is the bottom the back and the top now I like to attach the three inner sides and I like them on top and this it can be fixed with the same method as this one but then it will come to the side. Let's check. And I want it in because this one is also getting in or I just cut the middle just a little less. Oh, that's an option. Let's do that. That's easier. Yes, let's do this also the same method as this. These two, let's turn it around. And still, if you don't want to use such tape as I am, then you can make 
hinges of course like this one paper hinges and just look at my wedding album uh, wedding box tutorial then there I use this method same as Alexandra uses and um, so yeah it's basically the same but this is quicker and I like quicker Laying it on top, just a little edge, and then we can cut this one off. Easy peasy, and for this one. this part really sticky tape really good duct tape <laughs> okay Easier to cut it. So again, line it on top, and I don't think I am going to match this part. It's really sticky. <laughs> Stay put. Yes, now it is. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, yes, it's done. It's fixed. Now, laying this next to the other one. And I don't have a real good side of it, but we can wiggle just a little. Wiggle it just a little bit. Okay, now see if I can turn it around. Yes, we can. Now let's see how far it is already. We have the sides and the sides. And the back and the top. Yay! So basically, we have the box already, but we do need to make sure that this is going to be on top of here. But because this is on top, this is going to be just a little slightly bigger, of course, because now we have to cut the little amount of the thickness of the chipboard. So let's grab our cutting tool and we just cut, not, not too much because we want to 
attach it just about the thickness of your and really keep it straight I hope I did not cut too many but let's check if this is coming on here and this is closed then it will be sitting really nice. Yay! Let's check this side. Yes, loving it. Okay, now let's think a way of putting this on top. Let's see, before I continue with the middle part, I want to make sure that I cover this area, 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 with tape or paper, whatever you like to use. So it's already been black. So you don't have to do that later on when the whole project is ready. Sorry, I was on off for him. So Then you know that the inside has already been covered with this and I think I will do this one too. Then it's finished to move on to the next part. Okay. I think we have it. Okay, okay. Yes, and then this one is going to be later be covered the inside. Yes. I think I got it for now. Now what I will do to make sure that this is going to be white I am using the paper strips instead of um, the, the duct tape so I, what I will do is I put uh, let me do a few with you I line it up back and make sure that you burn my sit and then we do it on the other side so 
So this comes on top here and then this will stay put. Now we want to do that on the back and at the top. So this can be managed. Yes, we do that. So I covered it all up and I like to do just a little cutting the edges off just a little so it don't come in the way from any Now, um, we can do this already, but before I do it, I want to make sure that this is already um, neat with black. So, I put the tape over it. put this on top. I think we are, but I think it will be nice to draw a line on this too, so I can check if I am in the right position. Me knowing I always go the wrong way. So, if I line it up with that, I know it will be the right way. Fingers crossed! <laughs> so, I think we are ready. We always have to um, think forward when you do something because if you are having it all um, cluing down then you can't go anywhere so if I am going to put this in and this in and this in then why is this longer? oh yeah, right, that, that's perfect then if this is gluing down, then this comes closed. So what I think I am can use some hinges at the inside of this one, but I think I will do that first. Yes, I'll do that. I'll make here a hinge so this will close this up with this part and I make a hinge on this side so let's do that first because now it's all open already 
and I see that I need to make this close with tape the same as I did this part so this is already yes first I do this before I forgot I put some tape on Okay, I made my hinges on this side and on this side already made. So if this is coming back, then we can adjust immediately the hinges. So that's fine. And um, I covered the front also with tape. And so this is going to be black, black, black. And now I forgot to use this also in black. And I am going to do that right away. Because now you can go everywhere you like when it's all fixed together inside you cannot go easy back so wrap it around using the tape together with the hinges it's a nice combi but you still can use everything with the hinges with the paper hinges of course now I think I've had it and this and this will go and then it all fits I hope yes this will come together and this will come together yeah I like it what shall we do shall we first do the in do this and then this it can be Do you think what will be handier? I think I think it will be easier to get this the last part. Yes. I think. Yes, let's do that. Let's do it! Yay! Let's go crazy! <laughs> so I we move. I remove this tape and this tape and then I am going to set it let's see so you line it up where you want it to be and then you give it the first touch now I am laying it flat so I can burnish with my finger and my scoring 
my bone folder it all in position yeah so the next part would be easy just line it up on top so this will fit yeah and then line it up all the way to the bottom and you can lay it flat to burnish everything yeah how neat is that and now we just do the top oh my god love it love it love it love it love it love it Let's see if I just do this lower, then I can just make this first, and then we go to this part. So line it up. This is the top. Yeah, I like it. I really, really, really like it. Yes, I do. Like this. Yeah. Now let's see if my if my middle piece is still fitting. <laughs> Oh yes, it fits. And now we can adjust it to the right position and glue it all in. Oh my! So, I think I am... Make sure that your hinges are flat. Like this. See? And then, if you go inside... It will be nice to fit. Um, let's see. I first I do the bottom. Then I hope I can fix the tape later. I think I can. So I stick it in and now I am glad I do a line so I hope oh, I am not getting straight I really have to find a way that I am getting it straight so I think now I am. Give it a push all the way to the bottom. Yes, is it straight? This is going to be here and this is I think I have it straight. Pretty straight. it as it can be it's harder than it looks just follow the lines and then I think it should be I don't see any lines here or there, but I still think it's off. Yeah, now it is. So I 
push and then I make sure that the hinge is flat and use your bone folder to burnish it really well and now I can pull I hope I can I can pull my hinge my uh, my hinge, my double-sided tape, one side, and the other side, now I can see the line where I need to be. And then I give it a push. And then I use my bone folder again. Okay. Let's do the other part. the line there eyeball it in the middle and touchdown <laughs> okay I hope I did it let's check is it it's almost seven and this also oh my god this is six and a half and this part is just a little wider for some reason this is a little smaller than a oh, bet okay okay it's fine it's really really fine yes it is I love it Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So we are going to make um, black paper for the inside. But for these, I like to use tape. Yeah, so I covered it up with tape. And then I'll come back later and yeah, we do the rest. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I make my two doors again from cardstock uh, chipboard, and it's supposed to be like this when it's all finished, and this one on the right. So. I can give you my measurements, but when you do cut these, then please check if it fits, because perhaps your thickness of chipboard is other, other than mine, so please check. And the measurements for this one is 7 by... 20 centimeters, 7 by 20, and in inches it's 7, 7 of an 8 by 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of an 8, 2, 6 of an 8, 2, 6 of an 8. Double, of course. Yeah. Now, if you have these, then um, I want to cut windows in it. Really like it. So, put some, grab some black 
or other color, white, whatever you prefer. Um, um, cardstock, <laughs> just any paper you have, and make a template of it. So cut it in the right position of your chipboard doors and make some windows. Now I have uh, used my lovely wool with the little blocks in it, but if you don't then you have to measure and you cut them out. So I made this mine and yes I cut mine just a little too far so I had to glue it down. So, But this is my template so I am going to draw this one and then this one also and then I guess I shall come back to you because that is very time shooting time shooting yeah something like that and um, so I do that off camera and it's beginning hot upstairs here so I think I am taking it outside yeah with a lovely cold glass of water so yes Let's do that and if I am finishing my doors then I'll come back and put them on. Yeah, I think I am going to use these things. How you call this? I know how it calls in Dutch but I can figure out some words in English. But okay, let's do that and I'll come back later. So let's see where we are. Um, I cut out my windows and I painted it black. And uh, you can leave it this way because I. But because the reason I. Um, I explain. You could leave it this way, but I used too thin uh, chipboard, so I don't like it to leave it this way. So I covered it up and with. Um, the tape because the whole box I was using the tape too. So I will do that together with you. So I cut my tape in half because I don't need it that large. Then the other side. up That, then I turn it around and I cut just the same as we cover albums. We just cut it loose in an angle. Like this. Okay. Now we can fold it over the same as we do with albums. I just use it this way and then this way and then this. I was seeing if I don't have cut it too far but I didn't thank God then I make sure that the tape is going to be really attached to the chipboard don't forget to do the size the sides and then we have our second one now I am going to find um, 
the clear ones. I forgot to grab it downstairs. Just give me a minute.